Has anyone undertaken research project on the curative properties of the Agnihotra ash? In Germany, researcher Monika Yeller, she experienced many healing properties in Agnihotra ash and she based that research on experiences of hundreds of people that had used the ash in different ways. Using Agnihotra ash as a theoreptic um, ingredient is called as homotherapy and uh, we feel that homotherapy is a complementary principle to many curative therapies and this is basically a holistic approach to human health and it uh, takes in consideration the psychosomatic personality of human being. I remember to have read in the newspapers when the gas tragedy occurred at Bhopal in India in 1984. It was reported that while most of the people of the city of Bhopal were terribly affected by the leakage of the poisonous gas methyl isocyanide, only the members of the two families were said to have been rid of the ill effects of the MIC leakage just because of the regular performance of Agnihotra in their houses. Is it true? This is literally true. Even though it might appear to be exaggerated, on that dreaded night in Bhopal, thousands of people suffered with MIC gas leak various kinds of physical symptoms. A particular family was living in the area which was gas hit and in that household, in that area, they were regularly performing the healing Agnihotra. So that healing cycle was preserved in their house and when they came to know about all the problem that was happening outside, they simply closed their windows and made the fire in the copper pyramid and started making offerings. They were saved of all the ill effects of that dreaded gas. Does your Institute for Studies in Vedic Sciences coordinate with anyone or any institution in conducting research on the benefits of Agnihotra? Institute for Studies in Vedic Sciences has been coordinating with a lot of individual and institutional research projects on the effect of Agnihotra. For example, a few years before, in New Delhi, at the Defense Institute of Physiology and Applied Sciences, the senior scientist there, Dr. Silva Murthy undertook a research project in which he noted the neurophysiological effects while reciting Agnihotra mantras. And he found out noteworthy rise in alpha level of the brain waves, uh, which according to the conclusion was denoting mental equilibrium and peace. And in another set of researches that were done by a practicing microbiologist, Dr. Munkar in Bombay, studied effect of Agnihotra atmosphere on the microflora in the atmosphere and it was noted that especially Agnihotra atmosphere was inhibiting the growth of the pathogenic bacteria and another set of experiments that were done in Pune on the similar project by a group of pathologists and microbiologists. That project was headed by Dr. Y.B. Sony. They found out that more than 97% of bacteria in the Agnihotra atmosphere had vanished and concluded that Agnihotra atmosphere might act as a very good quarantine to keep the patients suffering from AIDS because this does not allow any types of infections to enter that special shield of atmosphere. A few years before, we promoted research at the Pune Agricultural Mahatma Jyotiba Phule Agricultural University in Rahuri, Maharashtra by Dr. B.G. Bhujbal in which he studied the impact of Agnihotra in germination of seeds and increase in crop yield as also control of pests and preservation of food grains. This was done in Rahuri and there were many positive results in that also. A study was done in the field of de-addiction centers by Colonel Golecha and this was reported in the Indian Journal of Psychiatry in which they found out that uh, the patients kept in Agnihotra atmosphere had much better motivation to quit drugs and um, alcohol. We have undertaken research programs of studying Agnihotra, how it acts as an adjunct in mentally retarded children as also hyperactive children and everywhere there have been uh, notes of positive effects. So there are various types of researches being undertaken individually and Institute for Studies in Vedic Sciences acts as a coordinator of all these projects. Besides India, is there any country where the Agnihotra research projects being undertaken? Outside India, there have been many projects that have been undertaken to study the beneficial effects of Agnihotra on mind and atmosphere as an adjunct in ecological farming. In Germany, a set of studies were completed by Matthias Feringer, found out 
that the aura energy after the performance of Agnihotra increase in a high level. We can absolutely call Agnihotra as a panacea and this is uh, mentioned in the Vedas that Agnihotra is the Yuga Dharma, meaning that Agnihotra is the solution to all the present day problems. The clouds that have been seeded with the rain are getting ready to poison the earth since the whole atmosphere is more and more polluted. While performing Agnihotra, the flames emanating from the copper pyramid remove such blockade and purify the atmosphere. The ozone layer is being healed through this process. Hence, the necessity to practice Agnihotra on a mass scale which is the simplest and most cost-effective form of Nitya Yajna. This is Agnihotra. It's very nice of you and thank you very much Dr. Srikant Rajimbalaji for the wonderful information on Agnihotra. The Institute for Studies in Vedic Sciences at Shivpuri in India under your directorship has been doing human service to humanity, bridging spirituality and science. I'm sure anyone who happens to listen to this interview with your holy self will take up Agnihotra and contribute to making the universe pollution-free. My salutations to you, Guru Maharaj. Sarve jana sukhino bhavantu.